Welcome to the third video of the CSGO skin making tutorial using free and open source tools. In the last video we added our carvings and bumps on the extravagant skin by creating a height map. In this video we will bake the diffuse map and the normal map of the skin. When uploading a skin to CSGO those are the only two maps that can be uploaded. The diffuse map contains the color of the texture, the roughness map, the metallic map, the ambient occlusion map and everything else that makes up a texture except for the height map. The normal map will contain the height information of the texture. Let's go to the layout view of Blender. In the first video of the tutorial we disassembled the Glock into three pieces. The golden top with the trigger, the wooden body and the wooden magazine. We will bake the diffuse and normal maps of each piece separately. And we'll move them apart from each other so that they won't cast shadows on each other. Let's move the magazine further to the right and move the gold object to the left. Also, let's rename the Glock to Body in order to make the name clearer. Next, we need to create image texture nodes in the wood and gold materials. These images will contain the results of the baking process. Let's go to the shading tab and press Shift A, go to Texture and choose Image Texture. Click on New. Rename the image to something like UV. Set the dimensions to 2048 by 2048 and hit OK. Let's copy this node by pressing Ctrl C and paste it in the gold material. Make sure the image texture nodes we've just created are selected. They should be highlighted with white. Otherwise Blender might not understand to which image it should bake. Now we will bake the diffuse map of the gold. Click on it and go to the UV editing tab. Go to the render properties tab on the right side panel. Go down and expand the bake field. For now we will be keeping most of the settings untouched. Let's take a look at what we have. For baking the diffuse map we will use the combined bake type. If you look inside the drop down list you will find the diffuse option. However, the combined type contains more options as you can see below and will provide richer results. The selected to active is more relevant to baking normal maps, but we will not be using it in this tutorial. The margin makes sure to cover any edges that were missed during the baking process. From my experience, it's better to set it to zero. And finally, before we begin baking, make sure to change the image at the left side by choosing UV from the drop down list at the top. Now we're ready. Click on the bake button to start the process. It might take it a few moments to complete. And this is how the golden part of our diffuse map looks like. Let's save the image by pressing Shift Alt S and name it to gold underscore UV. Now we'll bake the normal map of the gold object. All that we need to do is to change the bake type to normal instead of combined. Click the bake button to start. And now we have the normal map of the golden parts. Shift Alt S to save this file as well and call it gold underscore normal. We'll do the same process to the rest of the objects. We're currently in edit mode. Press tab to go to object mode and click on the body. We can go ahead and start the baking. We can see that the result is identical to our height map except for the colors. Press shift alt s to save and name the image body underscore normal. Change the bake type to, to combined and click on bake. Save it as body underscore UV. Same process goes for the mag. Choose it and press bake. Shift 
shift alt s to save it as mag underscore uv we didn't make any height changes to the mag so there is no need to bake a normal map for it and with this we finished the third video of our tutorial and now we're officially done with blender in the next video we will move to GIMP where we'll create the TGA files and create the VTF files using the VTF edit tool.